Hello everyone, this is a very quick video of Plan Swift template in which I will show you how to highlight one linear and get the takeoff of different side. It could be the beam, it could be the wall or any takeoff. Let's say you're calculating the shuttering of beam and you need to get the quantity from the right side, left and bottom as well. Same example we can take it from the painting as well. You need to highlight the length but the takeoff is required from the right wall and the left as well. It could be any situation. The question is how one linear takeoff can give you the quantities of different side. This can be done by the plan swift template. Let me show you a quick example of this template. Give a name here. Beam shuttering side A which could be the height. You can mention here number of as we know the beam height is on the both sides so we can choose here two side and the bottom which is 0.2 once we have confirmed this information press ok and highlight a quick example only software will multiply this length and give you the total quantity this is one of the simple and powerful template you just need to follow the instruction the way i'm gonna show you and you will be able to have it so without any delay, let's get started. It's very simple, click on a template step, click here on a new linear, give a name, whatever you like, it doesn't matter, main is the formula behind, right click in properties and advance. Here we have to insert new properties, I prefer to keep it in estimating tab and give a name here side A, press OK, side B, you will know the reason, just keep following, number of A side, number of B side, and hey, let me mention something, many people send me the message and inform me they are unable to create the template even they follow the instruction, so never skip the video always watch till end because if you skip any small thing you will never able to get the desired result so don't skip follow the same instruction step by step and at the end you will be able to create a video i'm showing you in front of you so we have inserted four properties now the fifth one will be total sides fine all of it created let's just adjust the unit side a meter if you're working in feet or inches you can keep it in the same manner number of side it's each side a and side b you can keep it empty because it's depending on the work you are doing so according to that you can enter the information so let's keep it empty now about the number a if you know there are specific numbers so it's better to add it now so it will remain there you will see Next time, the option will be here for you to choose it directly instead of typing. I prefer it. It's up to you. Either you want to keep it empty. Now, let's adjust the farm layout. Right now, that's how it look alike. We have to adjust the farm layout. So if you want software to ask you these things like number of B, number of A, side A, side B, you have to check. And when you click form, this is how it's going to look alike. Okay. Now, let's adjust the farm layout before you finalize. Farm layout. I want software to ask me number A on the top, then number A, side B, fine I have adjusted, only the name I'll keep it on the top. This is how the view gonna look like, if we want to see the units, we can keep it here, the units are also there. If you want to see the result in the same line, you can check. Once you fix it, press OK in a form that will be the view next time. This is the same template which I use it in the episode number 13 of form walk calculation. So many people requested me from there how to create it. You're gonna have it very soon by following the instructions. Now the final thing is the formula inside. It's very simple calculation, you will see it. So firstly, side A, it should multiply with the number A let's just round then plus side b it should multiply by number of b now we can round those fine and whatever the result come here it should multiply by total 
we have decided and the final thing we can change this into square meter once you confirm this press ok let me take you to the home tab and you can try now you will find your new created template under the test so let's try this created template you can mention here the side a side b you can choose the number of side accordingly press ok now let me highlight on the same so we can see the output if it's working in the same manner and here the result is front of you so that was a very quick plan so video i hope you learned something thank you so much for watching see you in the next video